So let's kind of talk about, um, you know, surviving the first year and second year, and then we'll talk about the third year and fourth year and general stuff. So, you know, one of the things, um, one of the things that uh, you have to understand is you want to treat medical school like a job. So if, you know, maybe before medical school, you've been working, um, you know, treat it like a job, meaning work nine to five, like, you know, like that you would in a job. And, you know, don't take too many breaks, uh, you know, don't, um, you know, the same thing goes with the job, you know, you don't take too many breaks in the job as well. You know, have a, have a time, okay, I'm going to wake up nine o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, you know, five o'clock in the evening, I'm going to be finished with everything, and uh, then I'm going to, you know, take a break after that. Um, you know, like, for example, you, you need to be consistent, you know, like every day do, you know, pretty much have a plan of action. And the night before, what I would recommend is have a, have your, you know, have your plan set up, like before you, you know, wake up in the morning or actually at nighttime, just kind of write down your goals, what you're going to be doing the next day. So that'll make it easier for you so you can actually achieve your goals. Um, and the other thing is that if you do that every day, it's going to make it a little bit easier because, uh, things won't add up. So, for example, I'm not sure what's your more typical morning breakfast over here. It's typically called people eat pancakes over here. So, if you eat three pancakes every day um, and you don't let it accumulate, it'll be less stressful on you as well. Okay. Uh, the second tip I want to mention is that you know study uh, to pass an exam uh, before studying to ace it. Okay. So. What you know, first of all, understand the big major concepts um, of the information. Don't get into too many details, understand how things work. And I think that'll make it a little bit easier for you. And then if it's something that it's very detailed, just kind of leave it on the side, but understand the big concepts. And then a really another important thing is make sure you get the first aid. First Aid is a uh, book that they use for USMLE Step 1. I would actually get it early and start using it at, at an early pace, you know, within your first and second year of medical school. For example, let's say, uh, you know, you're, you know, you're in a pathology lecture uh, with one of your teachers, um, you know, have that book in front of you and, you know, start making notes on it. Um, and the more familiar you are with that book, uh, the better, you know, you'll score at the end. You just want to get used to it, and then it'll just save you stress in the future. Uh, and then eventually, you know, you can take like an assessment exam after your first two years, and you'll you can dominate on that. Uh, another advice I want to say is just be be very careful about uh, advice, you know, from others. You know, it might kind of uh, <laughs> might kind of sound funny, and I'm giving you currently advice right now, but at the end, take everything for what it is, you know. Use it to find out what works for you because at the end of the day, it's just advice. You know, you 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 hear things you you, know, you hear is just whatever you hear is just things is, are in general. But figure out what works for you. That's what I want to say. You know, maybe I don't know. Maybe your your learning style is different. You know, figure that out early on so then you can succeed at the best rate possible. For example, myself, you know, I like to listen. You know, I'm an audio learner, so you know, I try to record everything. And that helps me out. Um, and there's actually a, a next tip is uh, there's something called a FOMO tip. It's basically it's actually the ultimate focus killer. Now, uh, and what FOMO means basically it means fear of missing out uh, is more. It's basically more of a real. It's real in medical school than ever. I mean, um, for example, you know, let's say you you're missing out on something. You know that you know there's a conference going on. You know, you know tomorrow or even that same day or maybe you know there's maybe there's some Facebook thing going on or whatever you know you know try to avoid those things you know try to just focus on studying your first two years and you know of course in medical school because those can really distract you um, and kind of throw you off focus I mean have you ever like you know got on your phone you know got on Instagram for like just five seconds see whatever 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 anyone else is doing and then you just get completely distracted so yeah, try to you know just limit those things, or just do it after your uh, after 5 p.m. when you're done with your work. Um, another thing I just want to make sure is you got to be balanced, you know. So you know you work hard, you know you got to play hard mentality is the way to go to medical school. Uh, you know, have fun, you know, you know, hike maybe, ha or, 
maybe play some music, do whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, at the end of the, you know, take a take. What I typically do is once a week, you know, I, I take a big, I just take the whole day off and just relax because your mind needs that, um, and actually will make you stronger at the end. And then other thing is, you know, when you're when you're starting medical school or you know when you're going to school, no, don't compare yourself to others. You know, just focus on yourself. You know, uh, you know, some people I've talked to, you know, said that, that it causes so much anxiety. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. You really don't know their situation. Just focus on yourself. Um, you know, don't worry about, you know, what anyone is saying. Like, let's say someone's in biochemistry, for example, and they're rambling about some new research and enzyme, and they know 30 things about it. You know, don't worry about that. Just you do what you need to do. Um, or someone is just, you know, saying all the answers right away. Just you focus on yourself. And also, like, you know, take care of your body. Make sure you exercise, you know. Uh, that's going to keep you your mentality sharp and your health really strong and this is i'm going to actually get into you know how to answer questions and so forth in a little bit but the more questions you do you know the better you'll perform um that is something that um i kind of learned the hard way i used to just want to keep reviewing material after material after material and not do questions but Questions is one of the key things to step one. I think I, if I, I can't remember how many, I probably did over 7,000 questions when I was studying for step one. So um, I think that that's helped me out because you see so many various scenarios um, and you kind of see how, you know, things are tested and that's really important. Um, and then, you know, you'll, you'll just be able to just do better overall because you'll be able to see things from different sides and that's really important. So, and, and don't worry about getting things wrong, you know, Actually, getting things wrong early is a good thing because then you learn more. The more things you miss, you'll actually uh, you remember also. So get as many things wrong early as possible. Um, and then another tip is just I want to mention is that uh, I don't think it's on here, but you know just understand the difference between working you know working hard and stressing out. Um, actually, work smart, you know get advice from you know people that um have you know done the program uh, you know what do they do their, th their fourth year what do they do their third year and so forth so um those are just some tips that i just want to share uh, that you know kind of help you succeed during your medical school uh time all right these are just just some more things that um that everyone can do um, as a medical student. Know your goals. You know, you might be a third year right now and you might be thinking, I'm in clinicals right now, what do I need to do? Well, you can start studying for step one. Uh, you know, you ask yourself, why are you going into medicine? You know, do you like to see patients? Do you not like to see patients? And pick a field accordingly. Know your own timeline. And then that's the most important thing. Know where you are right now. Um, and uh, I think some of these points is that points I've already touched on here and don't procrastinate I think don't leave stuff to the last minute I think if you leave stuff to the last minute you know it'll only take a minute all right so let's so let's so this is the most important book make sure you get the USMLE step one uh, there's so many different concepts on it it does change a little bit every year but not that much basic science doesn't change that much you know like physiology is not going to all of a sudden change so, you know, just get it ahead, make some notes in it. Um, and um, and then, you know, whenever you do take the exam, get the updated one and just kind of, you know, just see what's what the difference is and just add it onto this book.